I'll be sharing a brief word with you, captioned, How to Generate Joy. And we'll be taking our text from the book of Isaiah 12, from verse 3. It says, With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. Hallelujah. I want to just take those two terms. First, joy. Joy can be defined as a state of happiness or gladness. And second, we'll take salvation. Salvation can be another word for deliverance or rescue. And someone will ask, what do I need salvation for? Different situations come up in life, especially in the life of a young person that desires salvation or deliverance. And I want to describe situations that may cause joylessness. And then the state of the things around the world today is one thing that can cause joylessness. The state of the situation around the world today, everyone having to be at home. Parents learning how to stay with you and you, the young person, learning how to stay with them. It's a big, hectic job. Learning their temperaments and then also learning your temperaments. Most times they cannot understand you fully. They, and you are just trying to make them understand. This is why I have come to discuss with you today how to generate your joy. And in this period, when we try to explain to our parents and go through situations that we want to make them understand, when they cannot understand, several young people resort to different dirty lifestyles and habits to keep themselves joyful. And some of those habits are going to alcoholism, abusing drugs, visiting pornographic sites, and a host of many others. And some who are not bold enough to go into all this, bottle themselves up in fear and lock themselves out from conversation and socialization. And so this is what I want to tell you. That is not the best way. If you are the one who is fearful and has locked yourself out of communication, then that is not the best option. Fear is not an option. You can just choose to turn to the person who has asked you to come. And that person is Jesus. To any person who is going through any tor tormenting, troubling situation, I just want to tell you that Jesus is the well. Jesus is the well of salvation. The well from which you will get deliverance and rescue for whatever challenge it may be. So now that you know that Jesus is the well of salvation, our test said something. He said, if you must draw from this well, you have to come along with a bucket as it should be. And what is that bucket? Surprisingly, there's nothing but joy. You cannot draw from God's well of salvation and peace without this bucket. And I just want to give you ways, some points you can use to actually develop a good enough bucket, a bucket that is big enough to draw all the deliverance, all the sound mind, all the peace, all the calm you need. And you don't always have to resort to those dirty things anymore. You can now be a person overflowing with joy from deep within you. Praise the Lord. The first step, get a Bible in your hand. One will say, why do I need a Bible? Well, that is the source of joy and peace. That is God's word for you. And if you must get a good enough bucket, then your Bible must be handy. And next, you have to get yourself locked up in a quiet room where you will not get distracted. Or look for a comfortable position around the house where no one will come to trouble you. You need quiet at this time and it is your decision. And if you must get the quiet and peace and joy that you desire, that decision is a personal decision you need to be calm. You've been trying to explain to them and they have, they have been unable to understand you. It is time you take your life in your hands. No more complaining, no more trying to get sympathy, no more self-pity. They, they think you are a small child, no more trying to explain. Get to that quiet room or that quiet spot and meet with the owner of the well. Jesus Christ is the well of salvation. For the next step, get a good Christian worship music and fill the air with it. Just praise God from deep within you 
and try not to be distracted. Try not to feel bad. Several things may be cloud your mind and then that dirty thought is trying to come up again. Just fill your heart to praise for God. If you have a tambourine, and that will be perfect. So perfect. Because as you sing and praise God, your mountains will crumble and every depression and heaviness will flee from your heart. And next, your Bible. You remember you came into the room with that Bible or you had that quiet spot with your Bible. The next thing you have to do, visit the Psalms. There are several Psalms that give peace and several Psalms that fill the heart with thanksgiving. So the first Psalm is perfect. You can try the Psalm 71 or just go ahead, search out for yourself wonderful Psalms that will help you hold on to God more in that tough situation. And that is one way you can draw from the well. And then the next thing I just wanted to point out, if you don't have Jesus in your life, this will be a very rigorous process. So I just want to lead you through a process to get Jesus in your life. With him in your life, the Holy Spirit comes to enable you to make that room, not just a room where you're trying to um, pray or trying to praise. This is a room where you're trying to develop relationship. So just say this few words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I connect to your ability to fill my heart with all the joy and all the peace and all the grace that I need. I trust you for it, Lord, that my heart will overflow with thanksgiving to you and praise to you. And I'll be able to share this joy with as many who come to me this season. So I ask you, Lord, fill me with your Holy Spirit and make me your child indeed and eliminate this weakness on my soul. Give me victory over this sin. Give me victory over this habit and make me to be more than conqueror as I defeat Feast the enemy of my soul in this season in Jesus' name. Amen. Remember, the enemy of your soul is a devil and he doesn't want you to enjoy this freedom. So, this is your decision. Pick up yourself, gather yourself up, fight for your joy. It belongs to you. Get to the well of salvation and draw with your buckets. Make sure you're overflowing with joy. Don't take nothing, for, don't take anything for granted. It is your gift and portion in Christ Jesus. And as you overflow with joy this season, your testimonies will always flow and your parents and all those around you will begin to love you because you now have the love of God in your heart and it will overflow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.